What's up my chapter two family? It's your boy Mario coming back to you with another video. Before we get into all the things of the things, you guys know what to do. If you have not already become a part of the chapter two family, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And also go ahead and comment and share this video. And go ahead and comment below. Let me know you have become a subscriber so I can give you a special shout out and tell you thank you for joining the chapter two family. And let's take off from there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so this video is kind of like, um, a, a life update kind of video. Um, it's just kind of in the realms of that. Um, um, so I'm going to start, let's see where I can start with. So you guys, my last video was, um, uh, I did the, uh, um, uh, review from his, um, T.S. Madison, which turned out with T.S. Madison, um, on Fox Soul. I did the review for that, um, and that was the last video I made for a while. I was, truthfully, be honest, I was in a bad place. I was just in a bad, I haven't really been in this type of space before, um, not recently, for a while, over a year and a half now. I got, the last time I've been in this type of space is when I was employed and working was the last time I was in this type of way that I feel like I just don't feel like myself. I feel depressed. I feel you know, just a little bit, you know, things going on with me, you know, life, money, you know, just things going on, and it really haven't got me down until, like, really now, um, before I used to be in high spirits and really didn't, it didn't really bother me, you know, I started being high spirits, I just started letting the things that I can't control down me, but I guess after a while it gets to you, after, um, you know, just try not to think about it. After a while it gets to you, you know, you start really thinking about it. You start really thinking about it when your money get a little funny, you know. So you really start thinking about things. And um, I think what really got me into this space, let me tell you what happened. So you guys, I knew when I did the T.S. Madison, um, turned out with T.S. Madison review, I said to you guys that I might be doing a different scenario, a different thing with you guys. I was saying that because... All right, so you guys, I applied for an Amazon job to work. Something close to kind of what I was already doing. I'm not going to say what it is. You can eliminate it by me saying what I used to do. I used to be a retail worker, so you can kind of eliminate where I was applying from, uh, what position I was applying for by that. So, um, like I said, um, I applied for something in my kind of like in the field that I was already doing. It was just it's basically kind of the same thing I was doing. Um, so... I applied for the position. Um, uh, a few things back, they gave me a thing to come in and do, um, to do a background check and do a drug test. You know, a pre, I guess it's like a pre, a pre-hire kind of thing before you, you know. So everything's looking great. I went in there, I did all that, you know, and you know everything turned out great. Um, my I nine went through my um, I took a federal for a badge. I did all of the things that I was supposed to do. I did the um drug test that came back fine. All of the things came back fine, and so they had already gave me a start date. They gave me the start date, which was supposed to be January twenty fifth. So and this was on a last Wednesday. So this was after the turned out with T S Madison. So I that Wednesday I went and did that. Um, I think it was either, I want to say it was either that Thursday they sent me or something, or either was that Sunday. So either way, I don't know, it was one of those two days, I don't, I'm not sure, either that Thursday or that Sunday sent me an email saying that, oh, well, the hard date that you picked, you know, I'm just paraphrasing what the email says, um, the hard date that we picked for you is all filled and blah, 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 blah check back go back to the website and check and see for another um start date that you could start every day i check back there's no start date my whole thing is don't bring me into a position or don't bring me into the mindset of thinking that i'm going to have the job already when you're going to why are you going to waste money getting me a, a drug test why are you going to waste money doing a background check on me why are you going to waste money doing all of those things if i'm not even going to be able to work with you I'm an old school. I don't like my information to be put in somebody's system just to be sitting there and not to be used for something. You know what I'm saying? 
my, my information should be put in there if you're drawing me a check. And I'm working for you and you paying me. Don't put me in your information if you're not going to hire me. That's just a waste of your time and a waste of my time. You didn't know if that was so... Um, for me, it was a waste of time because you don't know if I took my last dime of money and went out here and gone and took put gas in my car to go down here and apply to you guys and thinking in hopes that I was going to eventually be working and bringing in a check or eventually if I had children and had to pay somebody to mind them and thinking that I was going to have the money to pay them back or put the money back into my pocket. You know, you don't know somebody's scenarios, what they chose to do their last bit of money to go down here and do these things and then you turn around and not give them the position or whatever. I just feel like that was a waste for me. That was... It was a waste for me because I feel like, and it kind of had me in a bad rut because I don't like to waste your, don't waste my time and I won't waste your time. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, but I, sometimes I feel like on the flip side of things, I do feel like God sometimes is protecting my energy. I never want to be back into a position where I feel like I'm, um, like I'm back in the same situation that I've been in before. You know, I don't want to be... So I'm kind of on the if about that, but it really had me down for a large amount of minutes. It had me down for a few days. It had me in a bad rut. It just, it just, it just messed up my spirit, my aura. I just don't, it just messed me up for a minute. And I had to realize that that's why I haven't been putting videos out. I haven't been doing anything. I haven't even had the spirit or the energy to get in front of a camera and talk about anything because... And then I kind of felt like I was in a lost place that I didn't know what I was going to talk about next. And then I was like, here's the situation. So let me just tell everybody what I'm actually going through and um, what I'm really going through. And I, you know, and I kind of felt a little way, take it back a little bit, kind of a way of um, going to interviews. When, even when I'm here, I still want to look presentable for you guys when I'm in front of people because I never knew who's going to watch this, you know what I'm saying, and see me in front of my camera. You know, if you see me from head up, I love put together. Down below, you may not know, but put together from here up, I want to be put together. When I get behind the camera, I want to present myself a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? And because your first impression of somebody is always going to be in their mind how they met you. So that's what I've always stick with. And I've always been taught that. I've always learned that myself. Your first impression is going to be everything to a person. So um, it was going to stick to them when they think about you. And anything you know so um but I say all that to say that I went to the interview and there was some really um urban girls there and I felt like they the people or well, one particular lady was there she was like more catering to those type of women and she was like looking at me because I was still I dressed up for the you know I didn't I didn't wear dress shoes but I wear some tennis shoes I had khakis and all you know a dress shirt you know um so that's how I went and then um so she kind of was like more catering to them she kind of like it was more care I could feel it my energy I'm good about energy I'm good about feeling things I'm good about seeing things I, as being a Libra we see everything we feel everything we feel the vibe we feel how a person or is to you we, we definitely feel all that so I was already feeling and I felt like she was like the other two ladies were there were fine and I didn't have no problem with them but it was a lady who was actually from here she kind of gave me like that kind of Charleston vibe that everybody gives like judging you without even knowing you or having a hate against you because they don't even know you already off the bat was kind of like because she had like it was very much so like um you can come over here and take a picture and whatever whatever and then she was like oh you can go over there stand like that and whatever and then she would just be like, it was just like, but when the other person, oh, you, when you get ready, you can come over here and um, take the picture right here for me. But it was just, you see how I did that, right? The two switches are different how you say it to people. So like I said, you don't know, just because you just judge me and how I look, that I look like I am, that I got money or I look like I'm put together. You don't know what is behind my smile, what behind what I do for myself. You don't know anything. So you judging me and think that I have everything together. You don't know that. You're thinking that I have everything together because you, I'm presenting myself like that. You don't know what I have on, so you can't disqualify me out the race because you think that I have everything going on. I don't have to 
look like what I'm going through. You understand what I'm saying? So I just felt a little sly on that way. And I felt all the way on that. Like, you can't judge me because you think that I'm already probably employed or I'm trying to use this as a second job or I'm trying to do whatever. You can't judge me from that because you don't know what's behind all of this. You don't know anything. So it kind of, it that kind of had rubbed me the wrong way as well. I had noticed that too. And they were very much so catering. They were very much so like, these girls are like, you know, rough around the edges and you know, and we were very much catering to these young ladies and, and it was very much so like, fuck you, you know, like that's, that's what it give. I can't be straight on. It was kind of like, and I kind of felt like if she had a hand in any of it, she probably was the one who probably, you know, and they weren't, let me just say this, they were hiring for various things you could have, but what I was hiring for, you know, so I don't know if she had a part in that or not, but I just felt like it was something Cause how are you going to put me down for a date and then turn around and also say, oh, no, well, now we don't have the position. Why allow so many people to apply for a position? You know, you only got 10 spots. You should just let the 10 people apply for it and be done there. Don't over look for people, accept all of these applications and go through the process. I'd rather you just let me know, hey, you're in a, the running of whatever. And if your name is pick for a position that you know is a position we'll have you come down here and pick for your to come down here and do a drug test background all that why waste your money and do all those things yes you're a multi-million dollar company but why waste the resource of getting on a a list of hiring for something that you know you you don't have no room for i, I didn't get that i personally didn't get that i don't i don't know it's just me i don't get it but like I said, that kind of had me twisted for, you know, that kind of had ruined my spirit. It didn't make me want to do anything. It made me want to be bothered. It kind of made me have an attitude towards people that didn't even have nothing to do with it. And I had to sometimes check myself and I had to let them know, you know, I'm sorry if I have an attitude, but it has nothing to do with you. It's just the situation got me upset all about it. Um. So, yeah, that kind of had me upset. It really did. Like, I waste my time going down there, applying for things, you guys. I went through a creepy-ass hallway because I was like, they told me it was in one spot, but which I could have gone through another area and been able to get to it, <laughs> been able to get there and faster, but they told me I had to go through go through this hotel, and this hotel told me to go up to the second floor. They ain't tell me nothing. Let's just go to the second floor and follow up, whatever. That's something like, they didn't have anything. I had to just... Okay, meeting rooms. Okay, go to the meeting room. I follow this hall. I went this long ass dark, kind of dark, creepy hallway by myself. I'm a polite bitch. Anybody can come in here and take my motherfucking cookies if they wanted it, bitch. Because it was very much so giving me like a creepy movie. So I was like, bitch, this bitch been on send me up here to my death, girl. So I went through there and I finally, then I saw the little signs in Amazon after a while. And I went in there and like I said, I implied and whatever. But that whole it just had me all fucked up y'all guys i didn't want to talk about nothing i didn't want to do no videos i didn't want to do anything um you girls i knew i was going to get on here and somebody was going to call me but i'm going to call my mama back in just a second but i want to finish this video i've already been on here a good little hot second with you guys but i'm definitely going to um give my mama a call back in a minute um but um yeah i just felt a couple way it just it ruined my spirit you guys so i'm sorry i'm going to be back um i'm actually going to do another video after this so about things that i'm watching and things like that so um things that i've been home watching and stuff like that why i've been home and we supposed to have oh i'm in charleston south carolina and we're supposed to have some kind of winter little storm we didn't get it it would have been great to see some snow i love to see snow because we normally don't get it we had it like maybe I don't even know like years ago we had some snow um like years and years ago we had some snow and it was really good we had like a it covered everything bitch we, we know we gonna get shut down when we had that but we didn't get that it was just basically a little bit of rain we didn't really get anything else so praise up to all the other people that had all the snows and everything else hopefully everything is all gravy now for you guys um i'm gonna run this to about the 15 mark and then we're gonna get off here so i will say Y'all guys know what to do. I will see you in the next video very soon. So peace 
out my chapter two family and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel and um become a part of the chapter two family and also comment and share this video and comment below and let me know that you have subscribed to the youtube channel and give you a shout out and join the chapter two family and i'll see you guys in the next video peace